So here we are, you guys, just after the Elgin to the Bowbrig um, vlog. And obviously I've just stopped off after the vlog to film this little tour for you because I really wanted to show you guys the River Spey, which we crossed earlier on on the bike. It's a very famous river, this one, and the fish are huge. You know, it costs a fortune to even just fish here, you know. But for you guys that like it, you know, fish are upwards of 50 pounds at times, you know, it's, it's an awesome river. Very well stocked all the time. And I think I saw some fishermen around the corner here. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. So obviously the season's begun, you know. But yes, it's quite a very brisk spring morning, let me tell you that. Let me tell you. Let's head up here. Yes, the motorbike vlogging's still going really well. I'm really enjoying it. And, um, you know, still only a few weeks down the line from uh, surgery, you know, and, and that whole sort of carry on. So it's just great to be getting out and about, even if it is a bit cold, you know. Let's have a look at it. And just up there, of course, there's the railway bridge that runs alongside. And you'll see that once we get up, up and over and onto the bridge. I don't want to disturb the guys fishing, you know, I'll leave them to it. They'll probably just think I'm a tourist. Oh, look at the little lives. I've driven this road just hundreds of times. And I worked for the hire drive and we're swapping cars and dropping cars off and all sorts of things. And lorries and minibuses. And of course this is the back road from the main route, you know. So I'm going to have a wee bit of exercise today, you guys. Go for a wee wander. I mean, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I wouldn't want to live there, though. I would certainly wouldn't want to live right next to the... right next to the road like this. But yeah, here we go. I'll do a little circle up this way. I'll go up this side first, and then down the other side. As you can see, for you fishermen, it's a big river, you guys. Big, big river. And yeah, you know, you can, you can just imagine the current coming around like that, you know. This sweet area here would be awesome to try. Let's see if we get a fish or two. How beautiful, you guys. So, where we're at at the moment, you guys, is the Spey Valley. Now, if you were to follow the valley up, we'd get to Rothus and then up the Arbor Lower. Elgin's back over that direction. So that's where we're at at the moment. I'll hold the camera to the side so you can get a nice view. Yeah, I think about you fishermen, you'd know that you'd be dying to put something in there to try and see if you could catch a fish, but as far as I can remember, it's about a 5,000 pound fine for fishing without a permit, so no thank you. As you can see, the, the Spey Valley is just beautiful, you know. You can imagine this in the, the in the real springtime, you know, when everything starts to bud. It's just awesome, you know. But this is what we always call the Bow Brig. Brig as in bridge. The Bow Brig. But, um, Me. And as you can see, it's just a big steel bridge coming up over here in the Spey. Oh, what a great wee morning it is. Magic. Right, I better cross. We have to watch ourselves here because this is a single part of the road. We've got the big lorry coming. He's going to think I've got... This is a speed camera, so I'll turn it away. this way. Now the one thing it's not illegal to do is jump off this bridge into the water. And this is what we kind of do in the summertime sometimes, or at least I did when I was a bit younger, was come up here swimming and there's a bit just over here where it's really deep and you're quite safe to jump off. Distillery lorry 
Ortiz, Shepard Striegel. Yeah, here we go, you guys, and you'll see the guys down there fishing. Oh, that nice wave, he's a nice man. Now, there's obviously the railway bridge, that railway takes you to Aberdeen, or in the other direction, Inverness. What do you think, you guys? Pretty sure the, the jump off point. I'm going to hold this camera because I'm scared of dropping it. And that's a McPherson's. Glory. I'm scared of dropping it. We'll be standing that guard right there and jump in. And flipping heck. I, I don't even know if I'd have the confidence to do that now, you know that? How much am I wanting a train to go across there just now? If I'd been really smart, I could have looked at the train times and I could have worked out when a train would actually pass over that part of the bridge. For the moment, no. What a beautiful you guys. Yeah, so let's make our way back to the bike, you guys. I'm pretty cold, I have to say. I have got my leathers on, but the extremities are a little cold, you know. Just beautiful, you guys. Absolutely brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the tour. Uh, you know, I tried to do the vlog and the tour and the mega kids are all in the kind of same area. So they kind of interlink together, you know. That's not always easy. But it's certainly good fun. Ooh, hey, look at that. Must be reasonably new, I can't remember that. As you can see, very powerful river. You wouldn't want to fall in there. So yeah guys, just one last look before we head back to the bike. I really hope you enjoyed it. Come back up here in the summer with the kids. There's nothing wrong with us uh, taking the canoe out on this, you know. But down there's obviously a good spot for these guys to be sitting fishing. Yeah, so listen, bless you guys from Scotland. Thank you so much for following these uh, tours and vlogs and whatnot. Just hope you really enjoy them. And I always say it, you guys, you know, if you're you know, if you're in hospital at the moment or you're housebound for any reason, you know, these videos are for are mainly for you guys, you know what I mean? And I just hope you really feel a part of it and enjoy it, you know. Because you wouldn't want to be standing out here today, I have to be honest. It is flipping cold. <laughs> so God bless you guys and thank you so much.